The defendant knew of her abandonment issues, he knew of her self-esteem issues, and he took advantage of those. And this was a, a young child who had a lot of issues, and those only became exacerbated. There are so many times that he could have made a better decision. He could have chosen not to pick her up. He could have chosen, when he saw the missing poster of her that her family created, he could have chosen to bring her back. First of all, Your Honor, you know, through this whole ordeal, I've been very patient. The state wants to argue that I haven't taken responsibility. I've been in custody for 1,057 days. Okay. I've lost all of my retirement. I'm in debt. I've lost my reputation. My career as a teacher has been ruined. And these are all, all a result of my decisions. One day I will die and I will wake up in the arms of Jesus. And I don't really care what happens after that. And that, you say whatever you want. And that is my sole consolation in all this whole process. The Lord knows what happened. The Lord knows what happened. And, and I, have, I have a clear conscience before God. And when I stand before him, I have a clear conscience before God. And it's unfortunate that some people got hurt in this situation. It was never my intention to do that. I was trying to help a young lady who I fell in love with and still do love. And I don't care what anybody says. Count one, first degree kidnapping. The court sentences you to life with the possibility of parole, with eligibility of parole beginning when a minimum of five years have been served. Unlawful use of a minor in the production of pornography, a felony, the court sentences you to a term of life with the possibility of parole, with eligibility for parole beginning when a minimum of five years have been served.